got the electronics enclosure all wired up now and you can kind of see how it's going to come together I still got to kind of tidy up all this wiring down here below so what I did was I wired it up uh, outside the box this is really the only way I could kind of show you what's going on but um we've got everything wired up and so we what we have here is uh, a big mess of wiring but it's pretty straightforward um so we have our switch we have our 110 volts going into our switch and then we also have our neutral now the neutral goes to the, the third leg of the switch and then over to terminal one on the PID and then comes down one to one side of the relay here solid state relay we have our ground that's going to be grounded to our machine here then to switch the relay here we have uh, this purple and blue wire and then coming out of the contacts of the relay we're going over to our band heater and then our temperature switch is just wired uh, to these two connections here over here our switch side of our 110 volts goes to this terminal and then also goes over to the band heater uh, pretty straightforward stuff um, we're also using the tube heaters the tube heaters are just tied together and then basically it's the same wiring setup so um, it's a little confusing here but uh, here is our sensor temperature sensor our DC voltage go to turn on the relay uh, power coming in and then uh, our neutral so I've got these two switches wired up and I've already checked to make sure that they power on and as you can see they do and the heaters heat up so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all of this since I've checked all the wiring and then disconnected everything and put it in the box and wired it up uh, because it's so compact it is it was a little tedious getting it all wired in uh, I wasn't able to put the fans in the back so I just put the solid cover on the back we do have these vent holes at the top and there's a slot in the bottom where air can get through and pass through but I've been letting this run for a little while now and this is not even warm so I'm thinking we're okay of course I just got it set for 75 degrees Celsius which is not that high uh, but I wanted to see how consistent the uh, thermal couples were And as you can see, it's maintaining uh, 75 here. They flash on every second or so to maintain those temps. So that's good. Um, I'm going to button all this stuff up. We're going to wrap the heat chamber. And then we should be... Uh, oh, and then we, we need to also uh, connect our uh, air hose. I need to get all that connected with our air valve and we can test it all out all right so I've made a little progress I've got the air supply all connected we have air uh, pretty basic uh, we've got our regulator going into our valve here and then out to the air cylinder and then I've also mounted our electronics enclosure and I'm just finalizing these connections but I wanted to show you um, so what I did was I wanted to kind of distinguish between the band heater and the tube heaters so what I did was I put these quick connects on here these are barrels and then these are flats for the uh, band heaters and then just to make sure they don't come apart and there's nothing exposed there I'm going to put a little heat shrink around there that's just later on if we have to replace them or for whatever reason uh, they'll be easily 
easy to replace. So you can see that with it connected they're still just a little bit exposed so I just want to put this uh, heat shrink on here just to kind of cover that up. Alright so that's finished up. I'm going to wrap this stuff up and kind of get it wire tied and up out of the way. I've got the wires all tidied up and uh, this project's all finished up. It's been really about a year since I thought, thought about doing this project and actually now getting it complete. Uh, it's taken a long time but I've been trying to take my time with this project um, and I've had a lot of other stuff kind of get in the middle. But we have our dual zone PID controller here. We've got it exhaust strapped on our nozzle heat chamber here so that hopefully I don't get burned if I accidentally touch it. We've got our feed system and our air valve. We'll have to adjust this as we need, but uh, I can adjust these mufflers and get the speed kind of the way I want it. I'm not really exactly sure how it's supposed to be. Yeah, she's all finished. So for the wiring here, I will say that those PID controllers don't really come with good in detailed instructions. In fact, it doesn't really even tell you what these terminals are in the instructions. Only on the side of the PID can you see that uh, these two are power in. Uh, these two are for your uh, control relay. Uh, these two are for your temp sensor and that's about it. Those are the ones, uh, I think these top two here are for an alarm, but I'm still not sure how that works. I was trying to use that circuit there to power a couple of fans, but uh, nowhere has identified the output on this. Uh, this has been running for a little while now and uh, it's not even warm. She's up to temp now. I just got it set for 75 degrees Celsius and initially when you first boot this up it'll raise the temperature higher than that and then it kind of takes a few minutes to kind of equalize and get up to the uh, desired temperature. But once it gets there you can see it cutting on and off there and uh, with these lights to flash here. If I can get a, there you go. So that's just kind of cutting on and off, cutting on and off. And uh, yeah, it's maintaining really well. Once you start putting in cold material, um, it's probably going to run a little hotter, I'm guessing. And I'll probably run the nozzle um, a few degrees hotter, maybe five degrees hotter than the uh, main chamber. Well, that's it. I mean, uh, guys, it's finished up. I really appreciate all your support with this project. It's taken a long time, and it has been, um, yeah, it's been time-consuming. I've had a lot of stuff going on, so it just takes a long time to get these projects out. Uh, but she's finished now, and uh, I think she's going to work well. I think the overall project turned out really nice, and uh, she's solid. She's about... 40 pounds or so and 38 inches tall so you definitely have got to have some space to store this thing. At this moment I don't have any new projects coming up this year at least not any big projects. We're going to continue working on mold making for the injection motor machine. Guys if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in click on that subscribe button that way when I post a new video like this They'll send you a link if it's something you're interested in. You can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, leave comments. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe and most importantly, be safe.